Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a music GUI system. I know I already made a tutorial on this in the previous how to make a main menu in Roblox Studio series, but in that series, if you pressed mute music, it would mute it for everyone on the server. So now, in this tutorial, I'm here to fix that. So if you press mute music, it would only mute it for you and you only. So let's get started. Um, obviously, what you want to do first is get uh, music. So get your music off the toolbox or you can make your own music if you can and import it into Roblox Studio. Uh, I already have a music and make sure you put your music into replicated first now that you put your music into replicated first you are going to go into starter player and starter character scripts and insert a local script let's change the name to Bring music and put local music equals game dot replicated first dot music. And then let's also put local car or which stands for character equals script equals script dot parent. Now what we're going to do is local clone equals music clone and put clone dot parents equals car now put script script equals nil now if it says that built-in global script is overwritten here it's all right just don't worry about it it's still going to work so now that we've done that, um, uh, make sure that your music is not looped and it is not playing. So go back to your bring music script and put clone.playing equals true and clone.looped equals true. Now we can discard the bring music. First, we're going. You should go to View and open up your toolbox. Go into Plugins, and over here, you're going to search up Auto Scale Light, and then you're going to download Auto Scale. If you have Robux, I do have Robux, but if you want to spend Robux. You can get Auto Scale Plus or Auto Scale Nightly. Uh, personally, I want to save my Robux, so I got Auto Scale Light, but these two are your decision. So, now what you're going to want to do is go into Starter GUI, add a Screen GUI, and title this Mute Music, or just title it Music. Um, music changer or if you want to name it something else completely your choice now we're going to put a text button and I'm going to put it right over here and now I'm going to customize it Okay, now that I have customized my GUI, I'm going to, um, uh, uh, hi, um, okay, uh, I, I made a big mistake. Uh, remember that plugin you installed? Yeah, yeah, this is also, yeah, mm, hi, this is future me. Um, remember that previous plugin you installed? We're supposed to use that. So, um, let's pretend that this is your... Uh, let's pretend that this is your um, button here. 
I'm in a rush. Um, don't blame me, or I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but let's pretend that this is your button here. If, for example, you made this on PC, which you have to, you can't make games on mobile, this will appear too big for mobile, or maybe too small. So if you go to plugins here, and you go to auto scale light, press unit conversion, and press scale, scale. Now, if you do it on mobile, it should hopefully not change a bit. Uh, so that's all I gotta say. G goodbye. Now, this is optional, but I'm going to name it. Uh, remember, if I name anything, if I name some scripts, if I name GUIs, if I name buttons, it's all completely optional because, I mean, I, I just do it because I, I want to stay organized. So. Now I'm going to change the name to Toggle Music and now I'm going to insert a script. Make sure it's a local script since normal scripts do not work in Starter GUI. I'm going to name it Toggle Music and put local, oh no no no, uh, local button equals script dot parent and put local player equals game dot players dot local player local car equals player dot character and then I'm going to put local music equals car wait for child music right here I named it music but so what you're going to do is change this music into whatever your music's name is so for example if my music's name was uh, yes, no, I would have changed this part to yes, no. Um, caps do in fact matter, so if your, um, if your music has caps, um, you put caps in here, and if it doesn't have caps, don't put caps. So, um, now that that's done, we're going to put... button dot mouse button one click connect function and then put if music dot playing equals equals true then I'm going to put music dot playing equals false and put music dot looped equals false then I'm going to put else music dot playing equals true music dot looped equals true so now to explain this entire function we're going to put the button the button here when someone left clicks on it, mouse button one click is left click and mouse button two click is right click. So it button dot mouse button one click connect function. So then we're going to put if music dot playing is true, then this means um, if the music has its playing thing on, which it should when you load into the game. then um this happens however if we already press the button and it's not playing which means else uh, basically else means music dot playing equals equals the opposite of true which is false and then it's going to play the music because it's not playing so now if we go into the game and press play it should work
Okay, so that's the music. And I clicked it and it's not working anymore. And I click it again. And Um, what's good about this toggle music is it plays where you muted it. So if you unmute it, it's going to play where you left off. Um, so yeah, um, that's how to make a toggle music GUI system. If you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. It's completely optional. And before I go... Yeah, okay, I, I don't know what I want to do there. Um, okay, so like, subscribe, um, goodbye. Bum, 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 ba, bum. Bum, 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 subscribe!